Okay, so I have to be honest, I never thought I'd see the day when Apple would allow a third-party app store onto the iPhone, but yet here it is. What you're looking at here is called the Alt Store, and this is a third-party app store that you can install on your iPhone so you can download apps from a third-party source and install them directly onto your iPhone without the need of having to use Apple's very own app store. Now, the Alt Store has been available on iPhones for years as a sideload project and you can install it on jailbroken devices and I'm going to show you a demo here in just a few seconds but the alt store is now officially live and you can install it onto your iPhone but obviously this one is not available worldwide at least not yet only for the EU region which is the region that continues to pressure Apple to allow their users to be able to have more options to install apps. Now, if you remember Apple's original argument for the App Store and why the App Store even exists, is that Apple wanted to provide their users with a safe and more secure way to download and install apps directly onto their devices to prevent anything from malware or spyware or any type of issue for privacy reasons, basically. But at the same time, when I think of this, I also think about macOS, where we're able to download apps basically from anywhere and Mac users have been just fine. That's also an Apple product. Now, Apple's argument to that is that the iPhone and iPads are more accessible and they're more prone to these types of attacks. So in this video, I wanna talk about the Alt Store and get your your opinion on third-party app stores and the fact that you can now download a third-party app store onto the iPhone is kind of crazy. So let's dive right in. So let's go ahead and take a look at the alt store and what it looks like. There's the icon right there. When you launch the application, this is what it looks like right here. And you have your news tab at the bottom left here, which of course will provide you with some of the latest news happening here. We also have the browse category, which allows you to browse through the app catalog. And of course you have sources that you can install here as well. Now you could typically find apps within the alt store are not available in Apple's app store things like emulators like this one here the Delta emulator was recently approved by Apple within Apple's app store but we have different apps things like virtual machines which allows you to run third-party uh, the operating system directly within the virtual machines and you know different types of emulators and things of that nature and I'm sure the catalog will continue to grow and you may find things in here that you wouldn't find inside of Apple's app store now you also have my apps tabs right here so you'll see all the apps Apps that you have installed and they have some of the settings where you can play around with etc so how can you install the alt store onto your iphone and who can install the alt store onto their iphones well for starters your iphone needs to be running ios 17.4 or later and this is the website right here the alt store website where you can download the alt store pal and right there it is get the alt store once you click here it'll bring you directly to the link and if you live within the EU you'll be able to install this application after paying a small fee about 1.50 euros as you can see right there and according to the developer this will pay for Apple's core technology and services and things like that so 17.4 or later and you need to be living within the EU in order to download the alt store the third-party app store onto your iPhone to download apps from another source other than the app store. Now, my question to you is if Apple allows third-party app stores outside of the EU worldwide, for example, here in the US, would you prefer downloading apps from the Alt Store or would you prefer downloading apps directly from Apple's App Store? I think most end users would prefer to download apps directly from Apple's App Store, but for those more advanced users and people that like to try new things will most likely try the Alt Store. But I think most users, I wanna say at least 80% of iOS and iPad users will default back to the App Store, but that's just my thought. Let's see what happens in the future, but the first alternative App Store is here, the Alt Store, another App Store for the iPhone, for the EU running 17.4. I thought I'd never see the day. Thank you for watching this quick video guys let me know what you think about this and i'll see you guys on the next one peace